I'm Dr. Marlene Dietrich, and today we're going to talk about sleep and health in this online presentation. Sleep is not just a block of time when you're not awake. We know that sleep has many distinct stages that cycle throughout the night, and the sleep stages go from lighter to deeper sleep uh, early on in the night, and then usually into a dream stage, and then the cycle repeats itself through the night about every 90 to 120 minutes. The reasons for sleep are a little unclear still. We know that it probably has restorative functions and might be helpful, for example, in consolidating memories. Not enough sleep or poor sleep quality can be very detrimental to your health and um, in some cases actually dangerous. Normal sleep can vary from 5 to 12 hours a night. Most people need between 6 and 8 hours and probably what's thought to be about an optimal amount of sleep for the average adult is about 7 and a half hours. Sleep usually uh, comes on and within about 30 minutes of going to bed. If it takes a lot longer than that, you might be considered to be suffering from insomnia. If you're very sleep deprived, you may fall asleep pretty much as soon as your head hits the pillow. Sleep is divided into REM, which is dream sleep, and non-REM sleep, which is uh, lighter and deeper stages of sleep that usually do not seem to involve dreaming. Uh, we think that deeper sleep stages are probably more important for uh, restorative function and that people often feel more tired when they're not getting an adequate deep sleep. As I mentioned, normal sleep uh, cycles through about 90 to 120 minute cycles. Uh, more REM tends to occur in the second half of the night, which may be why people often remember their dreams after waking up in the morning, because they're more, more likely to have been dreaming right before they wake up. More arousals and lighter sleep are uh, the norm with uh, aging. Uh, typically men have less deep sleep than women do at older ages. We know that bad sleep is bad for your health, and that includes um, a number of disorders such as sleep deprivation and obstructive apnea and insomnia. Sleep deprivation is often um, self-imposed. We know that many people just don't get enough sleep because they don't allow themselves enough time in bed. Without enough sleep, you're at an increased risk of accidents. Uh, one of the uh, common causes of not enough sleep is obstructive sleep apnea which uh, has various uh, physiologic effects on the body and, and that in and of itself causes health problems, but it also causes sleep deprivation because people do not get good quality sleep and they often wake up frequently during the night from the apneas. Obstructive apnea is associated with uh, high blood pressure. It can increase the risk of heart attacks and other heart problems. It increases the risk of stroke and it is associated with um, blood sugar abnormalities in some people and uh, an increased risk of obesity, um, as well as being more common in people that are obese. Insomnia increases irritability and may worsen anxiety and depression. And um, people that are sleep deprived um, not only uh, have more issues with that, but people that have anxiety and depression will also uh, typically sleep less well. Some of the medications that are used to treat anxiety and depression can improve sleep and some of them can conversely impair sleep depending on the response of the individual. Poor sleep patterns can take many forms. One type of problem is uh, simply not enough sleep and as I mentioned uh, many people just don't get enough because they either have poor sleep hygiene which means that they're not optimizing their chance of a good night's sleep because of various factors that we can get into. Uh, sometimes people just aren't giving themselves enough hours in bed. People often have difficulty getting to sleep and even if they are in bed at a reasonable time and sometimes they have frequent awakenings during the night. People may sometimes get enough hours of sleep but the quality of sleep is poor. One of these problems can be due to simply not getting enough deep sleep or not enough REM sleep. Sometimes that's due to things that uh, disrupt a person's sleep such as apnea or limb movements during the night and sometimes it's associated with um, medication effects, for example. Sleep apnea is a very uh, common cause of poor sleep quality. That could be either obstructive or central, and our main focus uh, is usually on the obstructive apnea, as that's much more common and um, uh, amenable to treatment. Parasomnia refers to disorders such as sleepwalking and REM behavior disorder, which often can impact sleep adversely as well. There's another category of sleep disorders we refer to as circadian rhythm disorders, and that has to do with how well in sync your body is with the real world. If you're tending to not be able to get to sleep early on, but you like to sleep in very late in the morning, then you may have what's called uh, delayed sleep phase syndrome. If you want to go to sleep very early in the evening and you wake up very early in the morning, you may have advanced sleep phase syndrome and those type of uh, disorders are amenable to different types of treatments than what we use to treat sleep apnea, for example.